Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm going to be connecting the GrowWatt Wi-Fi adapter to the GrowWatt inverter. Um, I have never done this before. I have no idea what to expect. So um, let's get started. Okay, let's go ahead and open up the box. I already opened it up. All it came with were these instructions where I don't know if you can read that. I mean, my camera is not going to be able to focus in. The font is like, I think the font is either two or four pixels. It's so small. I mean, even with my glasses on, I, I can barely read it. But this, these instructions are how you do it uh, through the app on your phone. And I believe you already have to have your GrowWatt uh, registered online. So you have to have it, you have to have a registration online, I believe. And I did that already, I think. But let's just go ahead and uh, open up the rest of the box. A little bit of foam. All right, it does have a couple of screws. And here is the actual Wi-Fi dongle right here. This thing is pretty big. Uh, and it has like serial numbers and pin numbers on the back. Uh, it does, it, this, this dongle is, is designed to cover up this whole, this whole thing. So you can't have the Wi-Fi and the USB plugged in at the same time. So we are going to go ahead and plug it in here. And actually, before we do all this, let's go ahead and turn everything on. Our inverter's on. Let's go ahead and um, plug in the GrowWatt. All right. Uh, you can see that little light right there. It just turned on when, uh, when we plugged it in. I went ahead and, and uh, in, in these instructions, there is a QR code to download the software onto your phone. So I went ahead and did that. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the app. Okay, it's saying to add a data logger, and I believe that's right here. So let's just scan this. There we go. All right, it says method one, just use 2.4 gigahertz, or method two, you can use 2.4 or five. So I'm gonna do method two. Next, restart the data logger. Short press the key button on the data logger to start the hotspot mode. All right, and it says to uh, short press the key button of the data logger to start the hotspot mode. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, let's hit next. All right, it is not on, so we're gonna press it again. There we go. Okay, hit next. We are going to let it use the Wi-Fi. Go to the settings page to configure the data logger. Username is admin, password is one through eight. Okay, this is not being very nice. Okay. I need to connect to it, so I'm going to take this. And I believe this is my data logger right here. Password is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Connect. Uh, always connect. Okay, it's connected. It's so I'm connected to the dongle. Let's go back to the app and hit next. Um, go to the settings page to configure the data logger. Okay, hit set. Okay, we'll go ahead and do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight here. Log in. Here are our Wi-Fi settings. 
advanced settings, system management, hmm, advanced settings, oh, here we go. Uh, the interval right here, this interval time, I want to change this to like one minute. I'm pretty sure that is how many times, how often it checks. So I want it to check as often as possible. So I'm going to apply that. Uh, restart immediately. Okay, enter my password again. <sighs> okay. Am I still connected to the right network? Nope. I got to connect back to the dongle. And it's not finding it, so I got to turn it back on. There it is. Go back to the app, hit next, set, go into the app again, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay. And then in the Wi-Fi list, I'm going to go ahead and set up my Wi-Fi stuff, so I will not be showing you that. Okay, I put my Wi-Fi stuff in, so I'm going to restart immediately. And I don't know, let's go ahead and put in my password again. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, and now the grill watt is flashing red. And now it's flashing blue. Try to log in again. Failed to connect. Uh, I mean, I don't know what, okay. Let's just do, okay, it's flashing blue. Let's see if the data logger is there again. Let's go ahead and set it again. Now it's saying connection failed. Oh my God. Okay. This is ridiculous. Okay, let's just close all this stuff out, try to open it up again. Well, it says battery percentage 100%. I know that's not right. I mean, is it actually connected? I mean, this is my grow up passcode. I mean, I could think that my battery is at 100% because it's not, it's not put in at all. You know what I mean? It's not, uh, uh, it's not programmed, this battery is not programmed to this inverter at all, so uh, it, it, may, it may be right, I guess. The only way to find out is to actually connect it to an AC input and maybe try to charge this battery. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, and what I'm going to be using is this uh, extension cord that I have already been using before it's cut um, so I'm just going to use this extension cord for right now it's going to be temporary just to see if the charging actually works on here and it should only charge at 10 amps anyway so I'm going to go ahead and wire this in and, and we'll go ahead and charge it up okay I've got the uh, app running on the computer now on the on the web on the web page so let's go ahead and plug it in. OK, 
Okay, so I got it plugged in. It shows that there's an input of 123 volts, but this still says that it's discharging. Let's see if it changes at all. Let's see what the battery says. Battery doesn't show anything. Still says battery is discharging. I mean, do I need to refresh this? Grid charging, grid bypass. Charging with 30 watts. <laughs> well, I mean, the thing is, is that the Wi-Fi is connected. The Wi-Fi is connected, but again, this battery, uh, things are not charging at the speed they should be. It says it's only importing 39 watts. It thinks, oh, it's probably thinking that the battery's full. I don't know, it says state of charge 75%. That's not right though, I don't think. It's only charging at 30 watts. But the point is, is that the Wi-Fi does work. Even though I had to stumble through it, it was ridiculous. So, uh, I'm going to have to keep kind of toying with it. I don't know why it's only producing that, mm, that little that little amount. I might have to, I'll just have to mess with the inverter a little bit more. But the Wi-Fi does work. So, uh, yeah, we successfully connected the Wi-Fi to the internet and, uh, and through the app. So, um, I mean, yeah, that's all I can say. I think I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Uh, if you have any questions, because uh, I still do, uh, please leave them in the comments. If you know more than me, please also leave something in the comments. Um, uh, if you like this channel, please consider subscribing. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Um, it all really helps out. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.